glow. Um, right now it's like basically night time, so I I look bad. But um, and I just brushed my teeth. So and uh, but I'm eating these cookies anyway and drinking almond chocolate milk anyway. It tastes so good and it helps the toothpaste taste to kind of go away. And I like that because it makes me think that I still have toothpaste in my mouth and I, I don't like that. It bothers me. So, And you might be hearing a lot of stuff in the background so you might not be hearing me very well. But I just wanted to film the video. Okay, it's, it's gone. Um, I just wanted to film the video too. Um, like a book review kind of thing about this book that I just just finished like a few minutes ago. Driver's Ed. Well, not a few minutes ago. It was like half hour ago, probably. I just wanted to finish it and I wanted to um, just start reading it a few months ago, maybe. I don't know, but yeah, I wanted to go two weeks ago, maybe. Um, it's been a long time. I just wanted to finish it, so I was watching Practical Magic, and I just wanted to finish this book. I paused the movie for a few minutes to finish the last like four pages of the book. So, um, it's a crazy book. I don't even know how to talk about it all in a short video because I want this to be like six minutes under. I'm starting to really want to, um, but. Overall, I'd say this isn't, like, I really like Carolyn B. Kinney books, but this book is, like, surprisingly not as, you know, good as her other books, I'd say. Like, Missing Since Monday was very good, and, like, even, um, the book, uh, Wanted was really good. And, of course, The Face of the Milk Condensate was exceptional. I really liked that. Mm -hmm. Um, but this is some Connecticut company, and these two kids are like friends, I guess, but they also like have huge crushes on each other, but they don't know yet. And so one night, them and a group of friends go to like uh, hang out with them. There's this bad kid coming along, and he, I guess, they want to like steal signs for their room or whatever. It's just something that. They do sometimes. They steal road signs and street signs and stop signs and like um, various street signs. Just the names that kids find even. And so, um, these particular kids took a stop sign and uh, it ended badly. Like the next day, they found out that a woman died in the U.S. She was going to be at her home. And, uh, she didn't know to stop, and she got hit by a huge truck. So, and, and the whole story is, uh, most of the story is them freaking out and showing their inner point of view from a third person sort of perspective. And, uh, and it's basically them just, you know, Freaking out inside about how they don't want to get caught and how they just wish they would have not gone, you know? I mean, it was an entertaining book. But the ending, the ending was pretty satisfactory, I guess you could say. But I don't know, I feel like the characters were a little like. Not like not that they weren't interesting, but like I wanted to know more about their story and stuff like that. Like with Jamie and the piece of the milk I mean, it's like a series so you get to know more about her life and everything. But with these characters now. I mean there wasn't as much like action I guess you could say, but 
only in the beginning if you're wondering when the story was going to get juicy, you know what I mean? For the first like 30 pages or something? I was like, when for the juicy part when I start? You know, a lot of people say that's a bad song. But, um, I'm excited to start a new book. Um, and I'll do a good review on that too. But anyway, um, I don't know if I'm gonna rate these, I'm just gonna talk about them basically. But I'll figure out a way to do it. Sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, what was I gonna say? Um, um, it's just really, um, kind of, I mean, it had the same kind of theme that Carolyn B. Cooney tends to take on, like, kind of like, teen mischief sort of thing, and like, um, kind of scary things like death for people sort of thing, like, kind of like, Mean worse nightmare kind of things, so not like horror, but like it has a lot to do with like writing, um, really weird stuff a lot of time, you know, like, and people going missing and stuff like that. And it's interesting stuff, but um, yeah, I guess this one wasn't as good as some of the others I've read. I mean, normally I don't like that stuff because it's kind of scary and you know, whatever, but it's also very interesting. <sighs> so, I guess that's the review. It's seven minutes and um, I hope you guys can hear me because I mean, this is one of my choice videos yet. Vlogging and stuff. And then, uh, yeah. And I'm trying to talk quiet because people are sleeping in the house and stuff. And um, I was going to do the accent tag for my uh, my ex to see if I have an accent. I think I do because I'm from an island. I know there's a lot of accent or stuff that goes on. I must say so. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm going to continue reading uh, and doing some language stuff uh, right now, and then I'll go to bed. So thank you for watching. Have a good night.